just based upon how far ahead they're, they're kind of pushing the rest of the pack. But again, one really kind of tragic day for both of those teams could open the door for some of the teams under them to start to maybe catch up. We'll see. Looking at the circle, though, we're finally on the East Coast. So we'll have vision on this while we do have the tail end of Wildcard. It's going to be Gregshot that sees them as well. They are doing a great job in navigating what should be a bloodbath, but last on the list is going to be TX that's taking some shots. Meanwhile, we've got 22 making a similar path, running right by E United, passing LG, and everybody's got their sights set onto Mansion. The problem with it is there's nowhere to go. Everybody is packed into this. Dodge already rotated into this point. Guri is going to be right back behind them. Big Bang Boom sp stops off to the north of this and forces TX away. And it's going to be 22 that stops just to the northeast of Manchin. Yeah, awkward is absolutely the word I would use to describe this fight. I mean, it's... Oh, oh, look at this. Sending it in. And Hayes is going to fight one. He's going to fight two. Oh, my God. Snaker is now just trying to fight his way back. And he is doing it. Hayston down. Haven down. And it is just flush after flush. The rest of 22 trying to come in. Vinny, who's had some star performances to try to keep them in the game. Now rolling in. Snakers and does Snakers get spotted. Tries. He goes down and 22 survives, but with just one member still up. And what an absolute just beast of a hold Snakers there going for. He almost had it. The 22 sending in the last member late. And Vinny's going to find that, even though Vinny just got eliminated by LG. Oh, that's a problem. Pippa is going to be spotted out. Silzen does get a knock on the Capitan. But, but look at TM. They're still so far out on this. I mean, it feels like they want to fight, but they also aren't wanting to fight. They've got two members that are separate. Right. Yep. Colton's out getting a crate right now. I think that they're just hoping to pick up whoever rotates out. They're just trying well to pick up kills, yeah. Sonics is in the foothills of Haven as the circle is now popped and still stays Mansion Haven and everything else like that. But woe be to anybody that approaches from the south now with that firing line. I mean, the problem is, as well, this fight isn't even worth anything as far as the compound is concerned. They still have to go in and find a foothold. Benya now just trying to get this last kill on Emmy. The bait is good. So Stills and Benya will survive. Meanwhile, Sonic's now sending it in towards the mansion compound. This two-story, they're going to make it in yeah. as four. That is devastating for the rest of the teams. That is an open compound in a strong position. Oh, they're so Oversight happy with this. Mansion. I, I, they were holding down in a dip below Rumblers just a few seconds ago. And they're going to run up right on BBB. And this oh. is what I was talking about. There is a lot to play in this forest, but you have to be very conscious when you're crashing in or coming out with no information. Is the other hand aid going to connect? It is not. TX coming in on the backside of BBB. They find themselves pinched quite quickly, and they've got to be careful. They are aware of low ground. Keenan's going to connect with a nade on top of Adam. Wildcard still in the process of figuring out what's going on around them. Is going to spot out Roth. Get another one down. Sharp shot still Sharp. playing the top of this. Can't quite spot anybody yet. Does finally see one, hey, but going to be countered by Greg Shot on the Wait. other side. Guess is going to go. TX coming in right back behind this, realizing there is a huge opportunity to mop this one up. Just coming in after a wild card goes down, but it is a very weakened BBB, and TX wants it. Yeah, the damage has been done. They have a knock on the Gats. They're going to be able to flush that one out, and they know that BBB is on the back foot. This is the push to make. I like this. I absolutely like this, but the more time they give BBB to recover, the less their success rate climbs. Okay, now has an idea on where Keenan is, gets the spray into it. I think that there's probably a reposition coming out. Roth just trying to get away. The aggression, he is yes. going to get spotted out. TX, while they were slow into this, is now starting to show the aggression that we wanted to see from them a moment ago. Roth, Beautiful stuff. nowhere to go, and there you go. TX picks up I the I was fire so fight. worried that they were potentially going to step off the gas and give BBB yeah. again that, that potential to recovery, which would have drastically affected their odds of winning that fight, but they kept the pressure, and that was beautiful stuff. And moving over to Trog now, We've seen some games somewhat end towards the bottom of heaven here, but yeah, this is this is not exactly great for Trog. They do have something to play right underneath Rumblers, but it's, again, not wonderful. Peak, meanwhile, sending it into this compound, and it's going to be given up by Eos Guri, but oh. wait a second, Dean Zara finds the knock. Just and the flush. Coming in with authority off of that one, but there's still some company to the north. It's going to be TX. It's going to be flooding in right back behind that. This is a mess. So, it, this is just a continued push in. Oh, no. The tree is going to be what eats oh, the look at TX. Comes rolling in. TX bringing the aggression, but it's not showing up in their favor. Finally, Zod hits a Dude, name that was ridiculous. So Spin this one back around. Guri is just holding down this point, but really, it's all the outside firefighting that's going on that's not letting anybody come come into Assault Guri's positioning. Honestly, and TX coming in, cleaning up the rest of that. Impressive nonetheless. They've already cleared out BBB, and now with the opportunity to just control the north side of Mansion, 
Uh, Tokyo Manji Gang is moving forward. Same time, Rumblers look to be doing a similar path. They've got a hilt that they just they have to move slightly for. So and Rumblers, about it. I gotta say, for all intents and purposes, have found themselves in a really nice position and, and have done well off of these shifts that did kick them off of heaven. So uh, I do like this play very much for Rumblers and how active they're being on the edge of spreading out, trying to get angles. This is this is a very good look for them. TX tried to wrap around the outside of Mansion and got yeah, double hit by uh, Guri and Sonics. And Sonics. Up. LG feels like maybe the south is the way for them to rotate, and they're heading down there, and it's going to be right along the path for Tokyo Manji Gang. They've got some rocks. They've got some hills. Are they going to be able to spot out TM as they are hunkered down behind the vehicle? Looks like Luke has an idea. He's going to be jumping oh, up. Penta. Penta coming in. He is taking a massive amount of damage, but does manage to get Zilla down before he goes down. We can see Luke to a oh, look at the And Purdy Kearney manages to run over Zealot as Tokyo Manji Gang finds a problem as Still it just wants to be to the north. Devastating. But, Charles, it could be devastating. Oh, is it going to roll far enough? No, no, it is not. And so LG has a moment to reset, but there are more nades on the way. Bounce going to be coming in, going just past Penta. Hits the damage, but not oh, enough to flash down. out. But Alo gets the drop onto Rusty Zero. He's going to go down. And now what is going to happen next? Luke 12 down at range as it's just going to be these two members holding up for LG with Troglodytes very close. But hey, don't worry. Pert Sonics sees what's going on with Pert's going to go for this res, and I, and I really like this. Yeah. I mean, there's smoke. There's enough cover there for him to just get it. Alo just cannot go down. Uh, he has got to defend in this position, but Sonics are doing so much work and assisting their capabilities of staying alive. Now, Rumblers coming back in behind Troglodytes as now Necro suddenly finds himself all alone in what he thought was going to be an advantageous firefight. Yeah, and the, the problem here is that Alo is not in, and that shift is just awful oh, for LG, just God. the worst. Yeah, after making the sin down to the south, that's going to be one of them that just hurts. It, it's just they're, they're, they're doing a good job on holding position, but they're not trying to overextend it in any right. given section. They're very well, comfortable with what they have, and they're they're definitely on the placement points pathing right now. As Waldo does spot out Luke 12, and it's going to be Tickleton that gets the flush on him, is now just poor Alo to the south. Yeah, and to that point about Gurry, I mean, they, they really don't have the best plays right now simply because they have to come out of that gate, and Sonics just yeah. has so much vision on that. That being said, I mean, they don't need to move right now. They can wait this out and potentially get a shift and maybe have Rumblers kind of be the ones to have to make that play. But look at Alo. Can the close range god get close range nope. enough? And unfortunately, mid range, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just. He's not the mid range god. He's the close range. <laughs> I mean, Guri making the move might be enough of a distraction in this one. Looks like Rumblers are trying to make a move with it, but with the split, the positioning coming up from Sonics, they're managing to hold it down. Guri just can't go That nade anywhere. fight's Tig, though. They're going to go ahead and get them down. Mime now moving into Rumblers' positioning. He's going to see maybe go for the res back behind this. Looks like that's going to be Shrimzy's job. Mime very close now to the Rumblers as it's back and forth. Smoke's going to be dictating a lot of this, and that is going to be massive. With Mime now going down, H1's going to have to lean into the north. That means it is just him up Quinn and do? moving. Can he creep into this? What can he do? One knock would be huge. Two would be massive. I mean, just picking apart different angles is what each side is trying to accomplish right now. Nade's going to come out. Roll. Going to be too short into it, though. Sonic sitting on 10 kills, having to jockey around this, and Gurry being enough of a distraction to maybe open the door for Rumblers and give them something to work with. Lowe's crawling close to Valiate's position. He's got the smokes in front of him, but everybody has just stopped. Committed into res. Yep, just a hard reset, looks like, for both teams, but it does look like Sonics has recovered... A little quicker now with Mime still up. Tick going to find the knock on the wall. Dini and oh, Joe. Oh, oh, oh. And like that, it comes apart. Valiate now all by his lonesome. Runs out, runs right into a flash. Tries to go for the shots, but it's going to be Sonics that pick it up. 14 kills. 14 kills, man. Yeah, I'm the biggest the apple time So I can fuck my world for 72 hours